back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making a caramel iced coffee. I got this recipe off another YouTube channel. I'll try to link her channel down below and you guys can go check out her channel also. But today we're just gonna be focusing on the way that I'm making it. I kind of changed it up just a little bit from the way she was making it and to how I like it and how strong I want to drink it. But here are the things that we are using to make this caramelized coffee. So we have the Starbucks caramel um, buttery and smooth coffee. I have the caramel Tarani caramel stuff to go in my cup and then the sweet cream delight creamer. So this is actually what we have been missing the whole time. So we've been trying, me and my son, we like iced coffee and we've been trying to figure out some ways of making different ways of making it, I guess. And we just really didn't like it. And this kind of made it perfect for us and the way we like to drink it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you both ways of how to make it, the way she makes it, and then how I make it. So if you guys have a Ninja coffee maker, that's what I'm gonna be following along with. This has a bunch of different settings on it and it makes it to where you can make um, iced coffee and like specialty drinks in here. So that's kind of what we're working with right now to make this drink. So the way she ended up making it on the side of your coffee maker, you get a little scoop like this. There's a bigger scoop and a smaller one. When she made her caramel iced coffee, she did one of the big scoops and one of the little scoops. So for me, I like to do two bigger scoops. And then you're going to want to just push in your basket. And on here, it has a start button. And you're gonna get all these different settings for the drink that you want to make. So we have classic, rich, over ice, cold brew, or specialty. And then you can pick your cup size. But for the one that we are going to be doing today, we're gonna to be doing the specialty setting. So then it doesn't matter what cup size you're going to be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with what I do in my cup. So I take the caramel drizzle. I just kinda of go along the edges and I put some on the bottom and then just line the line the sides. So that's what your cup is gonna look like. And there's a little um, holder right here that you can put your cup on. And all I need to do is press start. What I do next is I put my creamer in and I go all the way up to the top. And that's all I put in there. So what I like to do with mine, I either keep it in my mason jar or I put it in a cup like this and this I'm able to take with me. But otherwise that's pretty much it and it tastes just like McDonald's or I don't know if it tastes like Starbucks or not, but it's pretty good and a little bit cheaper than always going to Starbucks and McDonald's. And with us where we live, um, we would have to travel all the way to town to get one. So I'm glad that I was able to um, find this recipe and make it at home. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.